Hey guys, it's Wasbred here. Today I will teach you how to do a clean install of a new early access used version. First of all, you wanna download your version from Pineapple GitHub. I'm going to grab 3621. In here I'm going to download the zip file because I'm on Windows. Just save it. It should look like this. Then the next thing you wanna do is open your previous ERE3602 or whatever version you have, doesn't matter. After this is open, just leave it like this. Then we're looking for a zip file. I'm going to unwrap it here. I'll rename it to EA3621. After this is done, you want to open your previous folder in here. We're going to check if you have a user folder. If you have a user folder, just follow this. If you don't have a user folder, I'll tell you what to do after this. You're going to open the user folder. In here, we're gonna copy keys, world, none, by holding control and clicking on them. Then we're gonna copy them. Then we're gonna go back to EA3621. Uh, we're going to make a new user folder. This is case sensitive, so it shouldn't be user or user. Right? Just user. Copy paste. You may want to grab your shaders as well. So, in the case you do not have a user folder, you want to go to app data, typing run, then go app data, then go roaming, then go user, and you can copy your files from here. Should be about the same. The next very important thing you want to make sure is co uh, opening config. In config, we're gonna look for Qt config. In here, we can see your NAND directory. This is your safe location, so make sure it's the right one. So this is on desktop and EA3602. It's actually a different one, but it doesn't matter that much. So from here on now, you basically have a clean installation of Yuzu. The next thing you may wanna do is open your game, open the emulator. Now you're gonna see this. Double click, desktop, or whatever your location is. Select your game folder, select folder, and it should look like this. Once you're in here, there's a chance that Tears of the Kingdom may not work correctly. So if you have problems with your mods or anything that may be like a infinity loading screen, like launching or, or a black screen, like zero FPS, you cannot launch the game. The next thing you want to do is right click, remove, remove installed update. This will remove the update from the NAND folder. After this, you want to go to install to files to NAND. You want to find your update file. You should probably have it if you've done this before. So you're looking for update and just install it. If you are experiencing a large amount of stuttering and visual bugs in Tears of the Kingdom, this could be caused by your shaders. So the way you wanna go about it is we're going to open pipeline, open transfer pipeline cache. This is going to open the shader folder. We're gonna go back to user, this folder, and we are just going to rename it to shader one or two, like shader two. This will make it so you have to build your shaders again, but it may fix your issue. It's very possible that you don't have this issue after this step. All of your settings are going to be reset to default, so you may want to fix that. What we're going to do is going to go to properties. First of all, we want to make sure that we do not have repeating mods in here. So we can turn off all of these repeating mods. The next thing you want to do is we go to graphics. You want to turn all of these settings on. This is very, very important for your preferable uh, gameplay experience. The next thing you may want to change is your resolution. I normally use 2x for more BF GPUs. You may want to use 1x on some GPUs. For Windows adapting filter, you can cho choose either bilinear. I'm going to stick with bilinear for now. 
for anti-aliasing method you want to either choose FXA or SMA SMA may have some GPU performance cost but it should look the best in advanced settings accuracy should be left on normal in some cases you may need to use high so it's recommended to use it depending on what you need so for most cases ATSC compression should be un uncompressed however if you have less than 8 gigs of VRAM you should use BC3 and if you have 4 gigs or under you should use BC1 for most systems I would recommend uncompressed either way enable a synchronous presentation this may introduce stuttering or may increase FPS I do recommend turning it off just in case it does like some weirdness for RTX 3070 or higher I recommend turning force maximum cox I have a 3080 so I'll turn it on this basically just makes sure your uh, GPU is always running at its uh, max potential they called ATSC textures this should be turned on for most games but it should be turned off for Tears of the Kingdom it really does not like the setting is going to cause a lot of issues like uh, your map may look like a mosaic or like just a lot of visual bugs that you don't want to have enable reactive fusion should always be turned on use a synchronous shader builder this will reduce stuttering when building shaders but it may cause some other issues the most notable one is having this on will break fused icons in tears of the kingdom and the other thing you may want to know is that it may cause some visual issues when the shaders are initially building so it's not that big of a deal so you may want to turn it on fast GPU time this should normally be turned off when using FPS++ and dynamic FPS on Tears of the Kingdom it could improve performance however so you may want to test with this on and off I would normally recommend most people to turn it off for now use Vulkan pipeline uh, cache this should be turned on because it makes your shaders load whenever you open the game anisotrophic filtering this should be left on 16x because it makes the game look prettier and it shouldn't cost any performance thank you for watching if you enjoyed this kind of content feel free to subscribe if you want to support me I have a coffee link in the description down below for any other issues you can join our discord see you next time